Hey everybody, this is Julian. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Thursday's check-in. And before we start today's video, I'm back in Las Vegas at the new house. I'm going to take you back a couple of days ago while I was in Santa Monica. And it's been about two and a half weeks or so since I was last in Las Vegas. I did do Thursday's Farmer's Market in my neighborhood, which was really good. I was there for the third time. And out of the three times I've been there, uh, money-wise, it was really good. So I'm going to continue to do Thursday Farmer's Market while I'm in Santa Monica, which is not that often, but I will rotate that into my pop-up schedule. And I did do Saturday Market, which was not good, so we'll see. I may plan on doing Orange County Santa Ana Farmer's Market. It's the same company as the one that I do on Thursdays. They have a location in Orange County, so I may do that on Saturday, and I believe that's from 9 to 2 p.m. still trying to figure out my November pop-up schedule, but in the meantime, I am focusing on shifting to travel with Julin, Spain, and Greece. So I'm looking forward to sharing that on the vlog channel. So if you haven't watched the vlog channel, subscribe because this coming Tuesday, Tanzania Travel with Julin is going to be premiering. Um, but let's go back to Santa Monica a couple of days ago. I did Sunday market and that was pretty good. Uh, weather is still hot in Santa Monica and Los Angeles. So I'm in enjoying the last couple of weeks back home in California, plant friendly weather. And I was able to get a lot of things done for my pop up. And we are going to be wrapping up October this coming Sunday at the Rose Bowl. And that is going to be from 6 in the morning to about 2.30. So if you would like to come on down, see the shop, meet me in person, you can come to the Rose Bowl in Pasadena. And that's every second Sunday of the month. I am a permanent vendor. So that is going to be my last pop-up for the month of October. So while I did this past Sunday's market at Melrose, one of my subscribers, Lois, came by and she brought by a bunch of blooms. Actually, she came and she didn't realize that she didn't have it with her until she parked and then she had to drive 26 miles one way home to go and get it, which I didn't think she was going to do that. And then she came back and surprised me with these gorgeous blooms. So you're going to see that. And then you are also going to see an update of my Monstera Adonsonia. So let's go back to Santa Monica a few days back and then we'll come back here to wrap up today's All right, video. I wanted to give my subscriber Lois a big shout out uh, for her beautiful blooms that she dropped off. Cactus blooms, sumeria, hibiscus. I don't know what kind of blooms these are, but they're so cute. So I'm going to uh, put these with the rest of my big cactus blooms so that they can be stored properly. So thank you. And she even like brought it in a nice container. All right. This is the morning of me driving back to Las Vegas. And I wanted to share on Thursday's check-in the update of my Monstera Adonsonii. Take a look at that on the top where it was all spores, we see some growth here, here, and here coming out. I don't know if it's because I trimmed it, who knows, but it's happy and I'm glad I didn't just like, I don't know, this to me just like makes me really happy. So very fun report on my monster Adonsonia after I propagated it. Look at how pretty it is. Here's the status of the cuttings. And I'm going to leave it for now and when I come back from Las Vegas at the end of the week, I'll decide if I want to do more cuttings from it and make it smaller or keep it this way while I travel for the month of October. So that was my weekend and I'm like really blown away by just the kindness and generosity and you guys coming to support my small business and meeting me in person really warms my heart. So I want to give a big shout out to Lois. Thank you so much for coming out of the way. The blooms are beautiful and I have so many blooms like in storage and currently drying that I'm looking forward to creating more art for the holiday season. I'm not going to be creating art until November when I'm back in California. The rest of the month after Rose Bowl, I will be in Spain and in Greece and I will be filming for Travel with Julian and I will be coming back to Las Vegas for Halloween weekend. So if you're in the city, in Las Vegas for Halloween weekend, uh, you're more than welcome to catch my show and you can reach out to me on a direct message on Instagram. So that is kind of where my time is for the month of October. I won't be doing any Thursday farmer's market this month, 
but I will be there probably the first Thursday of November. And I think because the Saturday markets, I've been rotating. And if you guys watch the vlog channel, you guys see I am trying. Uh, but it does take a while for me to figure out if it's worth my time to uh, have a certain market in my schedule of pop-ups. So I think I'm going to add in Santa Ana, Orange County, Saturday. I'm going to work on my November pop-up schedule and I'll keep you guys posted as I know a lot of you guys don't have social media and really look forward to meeting me. Uh, so this is going to be your best bet is finding out where I am on Thursday's check-in for the week. So that'll be November. But if you are in the city and want to come and meet me and see the art for the month of October, I will be wrapping up my pop-up for October schedule this coming Sunday at Rose Bowl Flea Market. I'm a permanent vendor. So for now, I have the same spot and I have it, I think, until January. But we'll see because I'm literally like 10 to 10 with vendors on each side and the sun is really strong. So I don't know. I'm going to try to feel it out for our the rest of the time that I have it booked but next time I book out for the beginning of next year I'm gonna try to see if there's any options for me to move and maybe I'll have uh, better luck with the sun hitting my art but you can see me on the right hand side so if you enter the main entrance and hang all right you'll eventually see me on the right hand side in the arts and crafts section and I will throw up the flyer at the end of this video so you can see all of the information on plan on being there from 6 in the morning set up till about 2.30 and I am going to be back doing my pop-ups in California a month from then. So I'm taking a month off from doing any pop-ups and creating any art. All of the blooms that I've been drying, if you guys watch the vlog and been watching Thursday's check-in, I'm not going to be creating any art with my Hoya or cactus blooms or succulent blooms until November, December over the holiday season and I will be sharing what I create if it doesn't sell on Thursday's check-in. So if you are not in my area to come and shop in person, you're more than welcome to direct message me on Instagram and see what my current inventory is because my things come and go. It's very hard for me to have an online shop. My bigger pieces are on Etsy, some of them, not all of them. And I will continue to update the shop every now and then. But as far as for doing any pop-ups after this Sunday, the shop is taking a break for a month. Watch the vlog channel. Um, you can kind of see how my week is going because I'm doing the same thing the week of uh, prepping for my big trip. I'll be visiting my friend in Ibiza and I'll also be by myself as well. I got a hotel in her neighborhood right in the beach. So I will be able to explore and film for Travel with Julian on the vlog channel. And speaking of which, this Tuesday, I'm going to be premiering. So there will be premieres happening for Travel with Julian Tanzania. And I think from now on moving forward, my Travel with Julian series is going to be premieres. And if I'm available to hop on and say hi in the live chat, I will do that. I say that because Wednesday next week and Friday next week when the video goes live as a premiere i will be out on a boat for a day trip on both of those days in ibiza so i just don't know if there's going to be any reception or if i'm going to be in the water but if i'm available uh, if there is reception on the boat then i will hop on and say hi but for sure i should be able to hop on at least one of those videos next week and I will try my best for the following week in Greece to hop on and say hi. Just depends on what I'm doing through the day because I am doing a day trip as well in Mykonos and in Santorini on a boat. So I'm looking forward to taking my drone and filming content for the vlog channel. So if you haven't, subscribe to the vlog channel. And I'm looking forward to sharing with you all of my Travel with Julian content. I'm on the tail end of editing my Tanzania content. I'm in the Zanzibar part of my trip so just a few more uh, vlogs to edit and I'm really like proud of myself for getting all of the content and going through all of the edits because I've been editing a lot if you guys know and watch the vlog channel the week that I lead up into going into a big international trip I'm editing endless hours so that uh, the channels will get daily videos while I'm away traveling so I have almost the whole month of October uh, uploaded and scheduled so you can still get a video each and every day at 5 a.m but travel with julian will go live uh, as a premiere every day and if i'm available to hop on and say hi i will do that and my videos go live every 5 a.m california time 
but where I'm gonna be at in the opposite side of the world it'll be about 2 p.m. so that'll be like in the thick of the day so I will try my best to hop on and say hi but I'm looking forward to sharing with you guys my travel and adventures so coming back to where we are present day I brought over a few scents of areas because if you've been keeping up with me my patio is pretty crazy when it comes to trash from the tree it's pretty frustrating because there's nothing I can do about it I can clean the patio and the outside of the house the front of the house and the next day it'll look like I didn't do anything so that's just kind of the negative side of having outdoor space in Santa Monica but the plants don't have to winter over because I live right by the beach and it's pretty much plant season all year long so they stay where they are full time so I brought over three scents of areas and I brought over these because they are on the larger side so here's the first one and I will figure out placement of the plants after this video but for now all of the plants are just living right by my window until we start sleeping here I know my mom has been starting to move the kitchen in so I would imagine hopefully sometime this year we'll be sleeping at the new house and then I can distribute the plants and I'm looking forward to greening up this room another sense of area and these ones have been with me guys for a couple of years now and they've seen it all they've seen the outside they've seen the inside they've seen the rain and I'm just happy to be able to be able to move them into this space and from my experience like if you guys see in the background I have Drusina, I have the ponytail palm and I think that is as far as I'm going to get as for house plants in this collection sense of areas I do have my Pelia peppermiones here but this is not like a baby from my mother plant so I'm just experimenting but the philodendrons that I brought over in previous videos I brought back to Santa Monica and I switched them out with scents of areas because the environment and they're just not happy here so I think there might be another phase for Travel with Julian Las Vegas Collective in the future that I filmed a while ago I did pre-film a lot of videos back in July because I knew August I wouldn't be filming a lot for this channel because I'm traveling and in Las Vegas so I wasn't able to film a lot in August so right now I think you're still seeing July content and I did film a little bit when I came back from Africa so eventually you'll be caught up to real time but Thursday's check-in is always filmed the week of and that is going to be the most current videos that you see on the main channel so those are the three sense of areas that I brought so looking forward to see how well they do so far the few sense of areas that I bring brought over the last time I was here is doing good and shout out also to my mom for watering the collection when I'm not here as I'm only here a third of the month so I stopped by my neighborhood nursery literally five minutes from here and they had a pottery sale so I was able to score these for a good price so basically it was two for one and what I like about these planters and they're the same style one is matte one's glossy is they have a built-in tray so I love when they have the saucer trays built in because it's one less thing for me to worry about especially if they're being styled on some kind of surface that I don't want to get any water or dirt on so these are my latest planters that I'm super excited so these are my latest planters that I'm integrating into the collection and I will leave them here and if I need to ship any plants then I have these planters available and if not then I will eventually take one back to Santa Monica but I want to leave it here just in case I need them and I will probably do some planting the next time I'm in town. But next week, Thursday's check-in is going to be from Spain. So I plan on checking in as soon as I get there, maybe in like the first day or two. And you'll be able to see me in another country. And then the following Thursday's check-in, you will see me checking in from Greece. So I will try to make time to hop on and do a little Thursday check-in. I don't know if I'm going to be able to share anything plant related for the next two Thursdays check-in, but I thought it'd be fun to be able to do Thursday check-in from the countries that I'm going to versus me pre-filming one in Santa Monica for next week Thursday. I think you guys rather see me say hi from Spain. So that is going to wrap up today's video and I'm looking forward to traveling again and I have some exciting news that I will probably announce 
at the end of October, beginning of November. And that'll be on a Thursday check-in. But for now, that is going to be it. I was really excited to see the Monstera Amazonia have some new growth at the top of the mother plant. So that was a very fun update to see the plant after me chopping off the trails on the bottom. So comment down below, what do you think about that update? And also the beautiful blooms that my subscriber dropped off. Uh, I'm very thankful and you guys always melt my heart every time you guys come to my pop-ups and I meet you in person. And I gave her some monster ornaments for her tree as a thank you. So be sure you email me that picture when your tree is up with the monster ornaments. And if you want anything from small to large from my small business, reach out to me on Instagram. If you don't have Instagram, you guys can always email me and I would love to ship out to you anywhere around the world. My small business is celebrating one year. I can't believe it. And I finally counted. I sat down and I counted. It was 80 pop-ups that I did in 12 months. And if you guys watch the vlog channel, you know I do put in my whole heart and soul into this small business and both channels. And I share with you that I started literally from nothing. I taught myself over five months during the lockdown. And once I felt confident and I fell in love with this new avenue of plant life, I turned it into a small business knowing that the Pilates studios that I was working for was not going to reopen. And I lost those jobs. I decided to put this passion project into a small business. So it's been one year now. I'm super proud of myself. And if you guys haven't watched this past Monday's video, I shared with you a handful of big pieces I created over the summer. Um, not a lot of the, not all of them, but some of them I shared this past Monday. So if you want to see what I'm doing with my plant life, a different avenue of plant life, go ahead and check out this past Monday's video. It's a resin with me video. And I share with you the things I'm creating with house plant blooms, succulent blooms, and cacti blooms. And they're all one of a kind pieces. And I'm looking forward to coming back to the Santa Monica studio in November and create some fun art for the holiday season. And my art pieces can even be like great things for party favors. Small business has been giving me so many different feels. It's so nice to see people purchase from my small shop and either gifts for themselves or for someone else, friends or family for special occasion. And that is just really touching. So thank you guys so much for supporting me. I think I'm gonna wrap up today's video, but yes, comment down below if you would like to see me check in from Spain next week, Thursday, even though if it wouldn't be plant related, I'm gonna see if there's any plant shops as I'm walking and exploring the island. Sometimes I'll be with my friend. Sometimes I will be by myself filming for the channel so so we'll see if i come across any plant shops in ibiza while i'm in spain i just i don't know and if there is i will definitely share it on thursday's check-in but i will be mostly on a boat and filming for the vlog channel but i will say hi next week thursday i just can't promise you that there's anything plant related in the next two thursdays check-in and i know for sure when i check in in greece all of the plant shops are closed on Sunday and that's my one day to explore Athens. So unfortunately, that is a bummer. But I will sign off here. If you're new, welcome to the channel. Subscribe for daily uploads and comment down below. What do you think about these planters? They're like perfect. They're white and they have a built-in uh, saucer tray, which is also good for me. One thing I don't have to worry about and I'm looking forward to filling them with plants. I have a lot going on. And again, thank you to my mom for watering the collection when I'm not here. And also a shout out to my grandma for creating all of my handmade goods for the shop. We still have a few totes and face masks and aprons left, just a few. So if you wanna support her sewing, you can also reach out to me on Instagram. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I will see you every day on the channel i'll hop on and read the comments throughout my travels and i'm looking forward to travel with you in tanzania i have probably going to have maybe 10 to 14 episodes and they will be premiering on the vlog channel so i will hopefully be able to say hi on the premiere in the live chat i'll see you soon until next time aloha from las vegas nevada the ninth island bye